gentlemen, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, one very small point, uh, first of all. Uh, you, you kept on the sort of sound well. The conclusions that we made from the study is that um, there may be evidence of neurological dysfunction in the veterans group compared with the other control group. Well, I'm aware of that. This really raises a serious question of possible neurolo probable neurological damage in the veterans group. For instance, to the nap tablet. Going back to the research itself. Uh, more research is required. Uh, we, we need information and data to be made available. Uh, uh, the more research will require more resources, obviously, require more time, if we prob particularly if we look at larger samples. And um, we think that it is really um, unwise any longer to dismiss um, the existence of this problem. I think we should actually go and try and research this more. <laughs> I'm pleased there is a study. Um, I appreciate the Americans have had one going for a long time. We're only just beginning to recognize it, if we are recognizing it at all. The study isn't necessarily recognition. It, it could easily be a smokescreen, and I'm highly suspicious, as most of us are. Uh, having said that, um, I'm not even worried anymore if they find out I've got something particularly nasty. I just want to know what it is, so any study will be beneficial, and it will put our minds at rest and perhaps give us a chance to um, start to get the treatment we need. Thank you.